Dragon. I know what we need now. <laughs> Tweeny clock, where will it stop? Story time. <laughs> oh, I know where there's a dragon story. <laughs> One, please, Judy. Yes. All right, Milo. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone ready? Yes. 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 Come on. Hey, Billy Bixby was rather surprised when he woke up one morning and found a dragon in his room. Ah. It was a small dragon, about the size of a kitten. <laughs> you would be surprised, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, I just found one in the garden. Milo. The dragon wagged its tail happily when Billy patted its head. Billy went downstairs to tell his mother. Oh, there's no such thing as a dragon, said Billy's mother. And she said it as if she meant it. She looks very cross. <laughs> <laughs> Billy went back to his room and began to dress. The dragon came close to Billy and wagged its tail. But Billy didn't pat it. If there's no such thing as something, it's silly to pat it on the head. Mm. Billy washed his face and hands and went down to breakfast. The dragon went too. It was bigger now, almost the size of a dog. Oh. Billy sat at the table. The dragon sat on the table. <laughs> oh. oh, you don't do that, do you? This sort of thing was not usually permitted, but there wasn't much Billy's mother could do about it. She'd already said there was no such thing as a dragon, and if there's no such thing, you can't tell it to get down off the table. <laughs> no. <laughs> True. Mother made some pancakes for Billy, but the dragon ate them all. Mother made some more, but the dragon ate those too. <laughs> what a greedy dragon! <laughs> yeah, and look, he's had to hide his pancakes under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Mother kept making pancakes until she ran out of batter. Billy only got one of them, but he said that's all he really wanted anyway. Aww. Billy went upstairs to brush his teeth. Mother started clearing the table. The dragon who was quite as big as Mother by this time, <laughs> made himself comfortable on the hall rug and went to sleep. She must be able to see him now. By the time Billy came back downstairs, the dragon had grown so much he filled the hall. Oh. Billy had to go around by way of the living room to get to where his mother was. I didn't know dragons grew so fast, said Billy. There's no such thing. 
king is a dragon, said Mother firmly. But there is! I've just seen one! Smilo! Cleaning the downstairs took Mother all morning, what with the dragon in the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and having to climb in and out of windows to get from room to room. By midday, the dragon filled the house. Oh. Its head hung out of the front door, its tail hung out of the back door, <laughs> and there wasn't a room in the house that didn't have some part of the dragon in it. Oh. <laughs> when the dragon awoke from his nap, he was hungry. A bakery van went by. Mm, the smell of fresh bread was more than the dragon could resist. The dragon ran down the street after the bakery van. The house went too, of course. Like the shell on a snail. <laughs> when Mr Bixby came home for lunch, the first thing he noticed was that the house was gone. Well, luckily, one of the neighbours was able to tell him which way it went. Oh, lucky. <laughs> Mr Bixby got in his car and went looking for his house. He studied all the houses as he drove along. Finally, he saw one that looked familiar. <laughs> yeah, the one with the dragon under it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bixby climbed over the dragon's head, onto the porch roof, and through the upstairs window. Oh, how did this happen? Mr. Bixby asked. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, it, it was the dragon, mm -hmm. said Billy. There's no such thing, <gasps> Mother started to say. Oh, there is a dragon, Billy insisted. A very big dragon. Yeah. And Billy patted the dragon on the head. The dragon wagged its tail happily. Then, even faster than it had grown, the dragon started getting smaller. Oh. Soon, it was kitten size again. Oh. Oh, I don't mind dragons this size said Mother. Why did it have to grow so big? Oh, I'm not sure, said Billy. But I think it just wanted to be noticed. Yeah, yeah. quite yeah. right. <laughs> Twingy clock, where will it stop? It's been a dragon day today. Oh, I want to tell you about my dragon. Oh, yeah. My dragon was like this one. Oh. He had a pointy tail. Oh, but they won't hurt you because they're quite friendly. But they still breathe fire sometimes. Oh, unless, of course, they've got the sniffles. Oh. The sniffles? But if you give them a scarf like the brave Sir Milo did, <laughs> their colds disappear. Oh. And he was so happy we did a dance together. Oh. It must be great. Being a dragon. <laughs> so do dragons look just like your picture? Yes, definitely. A dragon has got a pointy tail and a scaly body and flappy wings. I see. And what colours are dragons? Uh, these these colours. 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 Red, and red and green and, green and, green and, purple. and purple. But then dragons aren't real. Well, they are. No, they're not. Are they, Judy? Well, some people think they were real a long, long time ago. What do you think, Milo? Milo? Oh, I think my dragon's real. Do you? Bye-bye, dragon. Oh, cool. <laughs>